lucky. <laughs> Johnny Flay make that shit hard. Keep it rocking, man. So today, you know, not really been sitting back, like really trying to understand, you know, certain things when it comes to the, my demographic, to my audience and all that, you know. Sometimes, you know, I I'm definitely don't like to be preacher mode. So it's like, I don't want to be talking your head off. And at the same time, it's like, you know, I got the information, you feel me? I'll be trying to share the information. So, you know, like, in this podcasting game and this content game, there's a lot of people that's just, you know, making content and not really monetizing, you know, or making content and giving that joint away for free. You feel me? Like, so it's like it came to a point where I was just sitting back and really looking at the, the field and really wanting to know, like, what's the main you know, the main purpose. And then, you know, I just realized, like, it's just a lack of, you know, a lack of knowledge, a lack, a lack of effort. Because it's, it's people that's, you know, the, the people that just start in their podcasting or, you feel me, like, local. It's like, you know, they doing their thing and making their content, but they're not monetizing. But then, you know, you got the, uh, your, um, you got your celebrities, you know, you people that got motion. So when they start their podcast, they kind of got like an up already. They already got sponsors already. They got the prize picks. They got the sprites. They got the major sponsors already. So it's like they come into the game, you know, already set up to make money. And then I'm watching people that's, you know, like it's just it's just a, it's a, just a popularity thing because because, you know, I don't feel nobody. There's no difference between somebody that's a celebrity that started a podcast or somebody that's just around the way and they want to start a podcast. I feel like it's just about how you approach it. And a lot of people is like, you know, they, they want to do a podcast, but at, at the at the same time, it's like, don't you want to make some money too while you're doing something that you like doing? Like, because it's not like it's impossible, you feel me? And... And, you know, just to uh, prove prove a point, you know, I want to shout out our newest sponsor, you feel me, Summit Spring Water. You know, it's one of the oldest and most revered natural spring sources in North America. It remains one of the last free-flowing springs on Earth where water is captured, gravity-fed, and bottled only at the source. Extraordinary natural purity. I don't know if any of y'all watch uh, Waterboy, you feel me? That's, you know, one of my favorite movies. But that's how I am, like, I'm like, I'm like an H2O freak. Like, I like good water, man. Like, it's just something about good water, you feel me? It's just good to your soul, good to your body. So, you feel me? Like, get familiar, y'all. You know, get familiar with Summit Spring Water, you feel me? Y'all see the um, QR code right there on the screen, you feel me? Just... Get familiar with our new sponsor, man. Good, good quality water. Good for the soul, good for the body. So now, I want to just break down how I was, you know, I took the steps to even acquire this sponsorship. So, like, you know, one of my things that I do every day when I get up, you feel me? Like, I'm straight and, um, I'm straight and, and like, Administrating administrative role like um it's paperwork, it's emails, it's DMs, it's it's text messages, it's missed calls. You feel me? Like all that, I'm straight on that. That's what I do first. You feel me? When I when I get up at the you know you know, I get my day started. Like I'm straight administrative work and I'm doing that. So I'm researching companies, researching brands. Just looking to see, you feel me, who I could reach out to, who I could partner with. So that's one aspect of it. Is is really just being on the offense. Like instead of just waiting for somebody to be like, hey, what's up? Like I go and I attack, you feel me? I I search out these brands, these companies, and I and I go right at them. You feel me? Like I don't I don't beat around the bush. Like, especially if I hit the DM, 
It's called direct message. Like, I get directly to the point. I don't, I'm not going to beat around the bush. And then another thing, an important thing is, you know, you just got to build your value also. You feel me? Because once you say, say you DM, you DM a brand or a company, you know, first thing they're going to look and see who you is. They're going to go straight to view profile. So they boom, they checking out your profile. Like what you about? They already vetting. They already checking you out, checking out your numbers, looking at your analytics. You feel me? So if they, you know, you coming at them about a sponsorship, like, do you got a product? Do you got a brand? Do you got value to you that make them want to, you feel me, entice them? You feel me? So you got, that's another part of it you got to work on too. And that's another part I work on every day is, you know, producing good premium content, like staying on it, getting better and better every day. And, you know, a lot of people don't do that. They don't do it every day. They want to do it once a week, once a month. Oh, when I get my when I get my money right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. You feel me? Like simple stuff. You don't have to have no money to do this. You feel me? Like you don't need no money to just go and research these businesses and look up these businesses. Like you don't need money to do that. Like that's how you attract the money. That's how you generate the money. You. You feel me? You attack it. So you don't need money to do that. So that's just part of it. So I DM the brand. They'll hit me back. Hey, you know, they'll say what they say. Is either they got some interest or either it's, either it's a no. You feel me? Or, you know, we're not doing sponsorship at this part. But it's thousands and thousands and thousands of companies and brands that's popping up every day. This America, y'all. Like, Everybody got a business, a brand they popping up every day. And it's about, you know, building a community. You got to build these. You got to build the consumers. You got to build the, the want for your product. You got to build the belief in it. So that's another thing. Another element is the belief element. Now, if you're doing something, you're doing a podcast, you, 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 you got your products, you got your merch or whatever. But, you know, you so shy. You don't want to put your stuff out and. You don't really believe in yourself. You don't believe in your product. You feel me? Anybody that really truly believe in their product, like they, they try and get it out there. They try and get the masses to see what's up. So you gotta have that belief in yourself, man. You gotta have that belief in your product and whatever you're doing. You feel me? So now, once you got that belief, now your your job is to make other people believe in you. And once you get somebody to believe in you. You know, like, it's, it's really up to you to mess it up. You feel me? So it's like, target these brands, build your product, build, build your belief. You feel me? Build your belief system to the point where people want to be drawn to it. They want to see what's going on. They want to believe in it too. Know the business. Cause they're gonna ask you certain questions. You feel me? You gotta know your business. Cause nine times out of ten, they don't know your business. It's, it's curiosity. They wanna believe in it. They wanna see what you got going on. Why is other why is these other people following you? So they wanna know what's going on. So the more you can articulate your business to them and break down what you got going on, the more the better. So you know, also learn how to speak. And this is for people that like you said, like I said, you know, a lot of people don't really have the resources. The majority don't have the resources to get a marketer, get a PR, get an assistant and get all you have all these these moving parts that, you know, people that got these resources do. You feel me? So you have to play the part in a lot of that that daily operations of your business. You got to play that part. You feel me? Like. You gotta be the marketer. So if you gotta call people and talk, and you know you you ain't you know really a talkative person, or you ain't strong on the vocabulary, or you not like sharpen up. You gotta do it, man, because ain't nobody else gonna do it for you. And if they do do it for you, it's gonna cost you. And that's one thing when it comes to me. Like I do everything. I try to keep my my overhead low as possible. So whatever I do for myself, I do for myself, and then. When it's time to get paid, you feel me? Like, 
I get paid for 10 jobs, you feel me? Cause that's, I literally do 10, 20 jobs. I'm running everything on my own. But of course the main goal is to, to scale up, to expand, to employ people. Cause as a boss, you shouldn't really be a man like doing the, doing the tedious every day to day. You feel me? You got, you got to be up there on some expansion, like taking the company to a whole nother level. So you can't be on level one. You got to get to a point where the machine is running, you know, while you sleeping. You feel me? So that's the goal. So, yeah, man, it's all about your mindset. It's all about how hungry you are and understand what's going on, man. Like, y'all want to get this money, man. Listen, you got these businesses, man, that's that's looking to partner, is looking to tap into this demographic. The richest, poorest demographic in the world, man. Read in between the lines, man. That urban demographic is the richest, poorest demographic in the world, you feel me? Read in between the lines. So, you know, once you could control your content, you know, monetize it, know where that money going, ownership, if you want to give pieces away, you can license your stuff away. There's no certain ways to just eat, you know, get bread. But this sponsor game, I'm telling you, the sponsor game, man, sponsor game, crazy. I be talking, to, look, Maine, bro, they from Maine. <laughs> you feel me? Like, I be talking to people in Philly and all over, you feel me? Listen, it's a new time. Like, you don't literally have to hop on no plane, no train to go have no business meeting. Like, you literally just hop on that phone, use that phone for what it's for, man, to connect, connect that network. Man, and, and, man, you'll be having conversations with people in China, Japan, whatever that, but, but they want to do business with you. They got, you know, they, they believe in it. They got an interest in it. So now you just got to make it happen. And literally, man, you could go from working a nine to five job or or whatever you're doing right now to, you know, sustain yourself to just making money, just doing you, man, just living your life because your life is the content. You feel me? Like if these people that got these podcasts, they speaking from their experiences. You feel me? They, they, they experience, they speaking from their lifestyle with what they live in. So like if if you got Mason Cam, you doing a sports podcast, these guys play sports. They come from sports. They're in the sports. That's why that's why they lit like that. You feel me? And like people rocking with it because if you into sports, you know you know that language. So you gotta know what you're talking about, man. Know your language, man. Just be lit, but don't forget the business side. A lot of people be forgetting the business side, man. Like they pay their little, they pay their money for their uh, production or whatever because that's another thing. Most people not producing their own stuff. Like somebody gotta shoot that and distribute that, and do all that. You feel me? Edit and all that. Somebody gotta do that. And you know, like I said, most people not doing that. So, like right now, man. This this business is is where it's at, man. This content content creation business, that's where it's at, man. Like entertainment ain't going nowhere. Like people that's that people depend on that, man. They they gotta have their favorite show. They gotta have their favorite pastime. They gotta have their favorite whatever. You feel me? They need that entertainment. So like that ain't going nowhere. The entertainment game. So it's like if you if you jumping in there, man, man, know your place, find a place, and. and Find that niche and grow. Just get this money because it's out here, man. It's out here, man. People will pay you to promote them. You feel me? Just build your platform. You know, just have good quality, premium content, man. Just grow that joint. But yeah, man, this is the first episode of season two. You feel me? Wolf of Charles Street Podcast. You know, I'm steady growing the network steady trying you know on to the next big thing creating the next big thing you feel me so it's like i'm steady at work and it's getting harder and harder for me to uh really um 
just like run this joint solo. So it's like I'm making a I'm making the necessary moves to expand, you know, acquiring studios, you know, acquiring space and you know, acquiring new talent. So I'm expanding and, and you know, I just want to, uh, hey, y'all just watch, man. Just watch, peep, peep, peep what I did with it. You feel me? Peep what I did with it. See where I started at. See where I grew with it at. And I'm just giving y'all little pieces to uh, fill in the blanks. Yeah, man. And, 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 and you're going to be, you gonna be running it up, man. It's all the hustle, man. It's America, man. Y'all the American, man. Give me the hustle, man. Family Wolf of Chelsea Podcast.